Good morning, everyone. See the nest of Jack Russell's? <laughs> See my babies? Chilling out today. Thursday, good morning. Happy Thursday, everyone. Wait a minute, he's a squint. I'll get the chat up. I've been it down a little bit. There we are, that's a bit better. Is that okay? Right, let me get the chat up. I hope you are all doing good today. It's chilly. It's a chilly Thursday here. I was actually hoping for snow this morning. Good morning, beautiful Pip. There's Pip. Good morning, sweet Pip. Yeah, me and the doggies are just chilling out today. That's what we're going to do. See, when it gets cold, I can feel it in my, my back and my, my leg. So, I'm a bit sore. Liv, good morning. Gemma, good morning. Sarah, good morning to you. Good morning, beautiful, beautiful friends. Good morning, everyone. We have to get my iron brew today. Do you know what? I eventually got that ironing done yesterday at half past one in the afternoon. That's how long I was at it. And because I'm getting older, see, my wrists, my wrists was sore with, with the constant ironing, so... Yeah, yeah, but at least it's done. It's done, so I can go into my kitchen without having to hide for the the pile of ironing. But the washing's getting higher and higher. As soon as I get to the bottom of the washing basket, I turn away and I look back, and it's it's like a Christmas tree again. <laughs> Not a festive one though. <laughs> but, Pip, I'm getting better. I used to iron absolutely everything. Good morning, lovely golfer girl. I used to even iron my knickers, socks, all that, towels. And I thought to myself, it's, that's too much. That's way too much. So I've, I'm not ironing these things <laughs> anymore. Yeah, but I was kind of OCD about it. You know, I didn't want to put a pair of socks on unless they were ironed. And I thought, that's just silly. <laughs> so did that Pip. <laughs> I used to iron the dish to the, the dish cloths as well. <laughs> I lived. See, I I I like sitting in there doing my ironing. I must admit, it's something therapeutic about it. Um, doing it all, and then uh, have my clothes all all ironed. My son, he'll say to me, you don't need to iron my stuff, just, I'll take it all in. But see if I see him when he's got a, a shirt on that's it's wrinkled, um, it's tr it triggers me. Good morning, lovely, from somewhere else. Good morning. Uh, there's my M. Good morning, my beautiful, beautiful M. You didn't get a notification, YouTube. Remember, to see if that happens, unsubscribe and then subscribe again. I think that works. I'm not sure if it works or not, but um, they say it works. You didn't either. It's me. YouTube hates me at the moment. <laughs> YouTube. I mean, they're not. My wee people. My people aren't getting their wee badges next to their name on the phone and stuff. The emojis. Oh, you've got a dryer that's stable. Well, go for girls. See, that's excellent. I wouldn't mind one of them. There's lovely Lizzie. I hope you're keeping well, sweet Lizzie. Um, did it um, see I'm in my bed what happened last night then there's my sky <whistles> my beautiful sky good morning sweetheart see what is, why, is, why is YouTube doing this to me YouTube I'm going to need to write these again on Twitter <laughs> oh my and Instagram oh, people would have been going crazy then if YouTube was down and Instagram was down, there'd be, there'd be people going absolutely mad. I know that I had to write to them once. I don't know what they were doing with my channel, right? But every time I tried to log into my channel, I was getting a picture would come on the screen of a, a monkey holding a hammer. Like that. Right, I swear to God. And I kept going, what the hell is this? Right, and, I, and I, I refreshed it a few times, and this monkey came up with, with the hammer. And I, I said to um, Valerie, I says, I think my channel's been taken down. I'm going to see if you can get on my channel. So she went on my channel. She could get on my channel. I just couldn't. So I had to send them a message, and they said, oh, this has happened to a few people. Oh, 
Ah, uh, good, Lizzie. Good. So, well, I'm, I don't know what I'm going to watch today. And my le as I say, my legs are on my back, sore, but that's because of the weather. Because it's getting colder, I can tell. You know, we don't need weathermen. We don't need a weatherman. All we need to do is ask me, how's your leg today? And I'll say, oh, it's going to be rainy. Rainy with some some patchy sunshine. <laughs> That's all we need. Me to stick my leg out the door and go, mm, maybe a chance of snow. Maybe the chance of snow today. <laughs> There's my babies. Look. Look at them. I'm in a nest. Look, they've got a cushion each. I spoil it rotten. Good morning, lovely polka dot. Good morning. They're spoiled. What can I say? But I was, I was talking to my mum about them and, and how much that your wee animals mean to you. And see, every morning when I come home from the swimming, they're sitting there watching me. And when I come in, before I unpack my swimming stuff or anything, we go into the kitchen immediately and they get a, a treat in their mouths. Sky, I still get, I still get um, spots. We call, we call them plucks. I don't know what everybody else calls them, but it's meant to be like in your teenage years you get them. I'm still getting them. I think I'm still going through the teenage puberty. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I think I'm reversing, going back the way. I don't know what's going on with me. My skin's bad as well, but it gets my my skin gets beat up to hell with swimming every single day. Um, it gets really, really dry. So I've got, as I say, lotion up. I've got a lotion. <laughs> See the amount of stuff I put on myself? Lotion and talc and everything. The, the, the works. I'm glowing. I'm glowing today. Look at that. That's, that's the... Um, that's the moisturiser I've got. It's got some sheen in it. I felt as if I wanted to sparkle a bit today. Feeling Christmassy. <laughs> yes. See, you've, there's a lot of words that you can't really say. You've got to spell it out C A T. And the the W when you take them O U T. W's. <laughs> it's terrible, isn't it? You've got to spell stuff out because your animals know. They know. And the B A T H, they know that word as well. And when I say to them, they're going for one, they're like that. They're, Shaking, looking at me. <laughs> I've got, you've got to go in. Got to get one. So I'm waiting in I'm, I'm waiting in snow. I'm hoping for snow. I'm sitting here hoping for snow. <laughs> Pip, they learn spelling as well, don't they? See, when you start spelling stuff out, they're like looking at me as if they know what I'm talking about. Ah, oh, somewhere else. Do you know something today in Scot? I think it's either today or tomorrow. Nicola, that's your first minister, is going to make an announcement because I'm, as I said, I'm in the hotspot. Glasgow and, and North Lanarkshire, South Lanarkshire, are in a hotspot. Right, we are. That's where the COVID is is going crazy because of the party animals, because of the parties. Right. So Nicola came on the other day and she said. Um, you know, every, everywhere's fine, apart from, you know, these places <laughs> where I am, these places here um, are still bad. It's not risen, but it's not went down either. So she's going to look at it again today or tomorrow, and then she's going to determine if we need to go into a lockdown again. And I was saying to the ladies at the gym, see from my mental health, I need my swimming as well. When I'm doing my swimming, it's not really exercise I'm going for. I, I just love being in the water. There's something about it. I'm a, I'm a, I've always been a water baby. But just, just swimming and, and it's good for your lungs and, and all the rest of it. So I'm hoping that I'm hoping that people have stopped the partying and let's let's control ourselves. <laughs> control I mean, I made a public announcement to the people of Scotland. Remember not that long ago telling them to calm down. We can all party next year as if it's nineteen ninety nine. We don't need to do it in 2020. <laughs> don't party like it's 2020. We should make up a Prince song. I should get the guitar and dress in purple and we'll make up a song. Don't party like it's 2020. Here, that'd be a number one single. Somebody's going to steal that idea now and make a million. 
something. You heard it here first. See if somebody steals that idea. I'll be saying to them, go back and check my live stream. You owe me some cash. <laughs> oh, a million or two would do it. That'd be fine. I would have to take that. You can take my idea. <laughs> Um, I'm sure the dentist is going to be extra, extra safe. Extra safe. As I see, the, when I went for my flu jab, it was fantastic. The, the layout that they've got. Um, when you just go in the doors, you've got to wash your hands immediately with, with the, the stuff. And then the, they take your name and then a nurse comes out and it's like a big hall. A nurse comes out and gets you, and it's like booths all the way down, like voting booths, but it's, it's nurses all standing waiting. And they say, you go to booth three, you're at booth two, and you go, and then you sit on the chair, they come, and they give you your jab, and you're away again, following the arrows out the door. It was marvellous. I was in for like three minutes, in and out. And it was all, well, you know, there was lots of social distancing and, and washing of hands and stuff, and everybody had their masks on. Oh my goodness, Linda, that's horrible. Well, do you know that the thing is, see if they are going to eat in Scotland, lock us down here. Um, I wish they would just do it already. Do you know what I mean? I wish they would do it the now because, I'll, see if it's Christmas, I'm going to be a lawbreaker. I swear to God, I've never been in trouble in my life, right? I, I've been a good girl. I, you know, I portray a bad girl on the internet, but, you know, I'm actually quite, I've, I've never done anything wrong. Um, but Christmas Day, I will, I'll be a lawbreaker because I'll be bringing my family up to this house to have our turkey dinner. I'll be doing it. And see if the police are going to come in and, and tear down my door and arrest me here. That'll be my, that'll be on my Christmas list, won't it? <laughs> yeah, that'll be my, Santa, Santa, take me to the police station for the night. Oh, as long as it's not a fight, I can't, I can't afford a fine. I'll take, I'll take a couple of nights in the jail. <laughs> be sitting there like that ooh, all night long <laughs> he's staring at them ooh. <laughs> they'll be like get her out here <laughs> I'd be drooling them all. Ooh. <laughs> watching them stop looking at me lady is it against the law officer am I being a bad girl do I need to go in handcuffs again <laughs> good morning miss aqua Yes, um, you'll need to let me know how you got on. I would cause trouble, Em. Um, I'm, I'm at the stage in my life, like, I'm like, you know, why not? <laughs> yes, yeah, see, just now it's no two households. No two households. There's my lovely open-minded. Good morning, open-minded. Sky, I'll be on here anyway. I'll, in fact, I'll probably pop. I might pop on in Christmas Day to see you and wish you all a Merry Christmas because I don't want them to not having someone tell them that Merry Christmas. Um, but yeah, there's no two households meant to be allowed. But the thing is, my daughter's stay with my ex-husband, and they all come up for their Christmas dinner, so I'm going to be. I'm going to be going down and getting them. Listen, if the police are watching this, well, I'm going to do it. Arrest me, officer. Put me in cuffs. <laughs> it's been a while since I've been in handcuffs, I'll tell you. I dare see. Got her. I'm in the gutter again. I'm in the gutter. <laughs> yes, I'll be breaking the rule. I think they know that. And you know, somebody had said, can you imagine having your Christmas dinner and the police break your door down and arrest your granny? And take your granny to the police station. Listen, see if the granny's like me. That'll, that'll be a treat. <laughs> I'll be sitting like that. Because I'll be half gone. The, the flavouring goes early. Early in Christmas, we need flavouring. <laughs> yes, well, we could do that. See, this has only got two bedrooms in it. But I could do that. I could fake it. But I might just want to be arrested. I might be looking for an excuse here. <laughs> this is my key. This is my key to scrub that off my bucket list. Yes, I'm hoping so, Pip. I hope they realise that there's no way, absolutely no way. And I'm a crier in Christmas Day. I can't help it. 
I'm a crier on Chris. There we go. Another secret out of the bag. I'm a crier on Christmas Day. Because, right, we've had the flavouring. We've opened the gifts. I'm looking and I've got all my family round about me. And we don't all get together. Um, my ex-husband's my daughter. No, we don't all get together. Unless it's like a, a funeral or something like that. But Christmas is a merry time and... That's what I love. It's not the gifts. It's having my family here and we've all, they're all happy and we're all having a good laugh and, and stuff. I end up sitting here going, <laughs> I love you so, by the way. Did I tell you that I love you? <laughs> like that. And then the daughters come over and go, oh, mum. And they rub my back like that, right? And <laughs> that upsets me off even more. And then, do you know what they do? Mum, I think you should go into your bed. They take me into my bed, lie down, mum. <laughs> you know, right? Mum's down. Mum's down again. Good morning, lovely Anonymous. Well, I'm hoping that they do it just now. I'm hoping that they do it just now. Good night, sweet Linda, and thank you very much for coming in. <laughs> yeah, same. A magic speeding ticket. That's what he's would get. He's would get this. He, see, if I was with M and Sky and open minded, and we were all together, it'd be, it'd be, it'd be trouble. And I'd, I'd be my fault. I would get he's in trouble. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie about it. If you're coming with me anywhere, be prepared. <laughs> be prepared. I was the one. I, I think it was in Edinburgh. And I was gone. I was, I was, I was, I was quite drunk. And at that time, I used to smoke. Illegal cigarettes, right? I did, I did, do, see that's breaking the rules, I'm telling you I'm a good girl, I was probably bad doing that, right? And I remember there was a policeman standing, and I'm behind him making gestures. I'm behind him making gestures. See, if he'd have turned around, I'd have been, I, 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 I don't know what would have happened. I'd have been in trouble. But I'm doing that and everybody's going, hee hee, what are you like, Linda? You know, so, see, the more people tell me I'm funny and what are you like, the crazier I get. And then in the morning, I wake up and I think, I can't believe I've done that. I hate myself now. Absolutely hate myself now. And then somebody goes, oh, you were hilarious last night. You were doing this. And I'm going, oh, please don't tell me. Don't tell me what I was doing. <laughs> I, I want to forget it. Let's forget last night did that happen. <laughs> Sky, it would be... But some of them are rough, right? But I could handle that. But see if they were rough with you, Sky, I, I, would, I would have to... Take their baton off them and, and threaten them some way. <laughs> yes. A whole new world. A whole fantastic point of view. Something like that. It's like that. Oh. Yeah, well, if you can handle it, you just get, we'll have a safe word, Sky. <laughs> right? we'll need, that's what we need to do. We need a safe word, right? So if everything's all right, you can... If it gets too much, say the safe word, and then I'll come in and muscle in and, and sort the police officers right out. <laughs> see if there's any police officers watching the book. Give her channel. We'll get somebody on this channel 24 hours a day. Get that. She's dodgy. Just look at a tattoo in her face. That says it all. <laughs> Another ornament at the back of me. Yes, I've got these beautiful things. Remember, you sent me these? They're at the back of me. And this is a Christmas card from Keely. Sent me this. No, I've just got them clipped on. I've just got this clipped on with um, my wee things. But you gave me them open-minded. My little things here. Do you know, it's, it's a uniform for me. It's the uniform, Miss Aqua, it's a uniform. I don't think I've ever seen an ugly looking police officer or police, police woman. I've not, see, it's a uniform at this. As soon as I see the uniform, I'm like, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Here we go. I watch, co there, see, dirty secrets are coming out now. I watch cops, bad boys, bad boys, what you going to do, right? I've watched that and I'm like, dear. I sit here myself like, oh, that's, that's my kind of thingy hub. No, the thingy hub, mine's is watching cops. <laughs> That's what I do. I don't. I don't need to watch the the hub thing. I, I yeah, environment things like that. 
Th things like that I like to watch. That's, that's my kind of thing. <laughs> I would I, I would say something to the officer to arrest me. So see, I've been in the police station once, but that was a day out. What kind of day out is that for children? A day out to the police station. That's where we went to show us where we might end up. Oh, yeah. See, any kind of uniform, any kind of uniforms gets me. It gets me. <laughs> it's really, it's, but especially, especially the police, because they've got, like, weapons and stuff on them, and that that, that just that just makes it even better for me. I'm like, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> and I'm always thinking to myself, their wife or their, their husband, that's, that's a lucky wife or husband having all that. <laughs> oh. My daughter was right here. My daughter was talking to me, and she said um, that um, she she had been talking to someone in a, in America, and their dad was a fireman. And I was that that I perked up right. I went, oh, 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 oh really? <laughs> Is he on Facebook? What was what was his name? What, what age is he? <laughs> Does he like wee Scottish woman by any chance? Well, but a bit more weight than usual. A bit kind of chubby. Chubby, and they're not a fat chubby, put me down as chubby. I'd prefer to be chubby than fat. So put that put that in my profile. I'm going to need to make up a profile. <laughs> It'd be pure catfishing. Somebody would look at me and go like, Jesus, that's, 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 that's a catfishing profile. Report her, report her. To, to Nev, is it Neve, Neve that does the catfish program? Report, get, get bloody catfish down to Glasgow. <laughs> Well, Sky, I, I'm not everybody's cup of tea because I do get the odd terrible comment about myself. Yes, we're the same, Miss Aqua. It's usually here. Listen, I was throthing at the, I was throthing at the mouth. Remember, I had a police officer in here sitting right on that couch. I'll tell you, and I was my, I was my member. The car had came right down the hill and ploughed into the neighbour's garden. Right. I got to phone the police. That's the first I've done this. It was all it was, it was all a new thing for me. Phoning and reporting. I'm a I'm a neighbour here and I'm you know, I'm concerned. So they sent down two police cars. I was like, whoa and I took them round to the back garden and show, you know, they showed them and stuff. And one of the officers says, I'll come in and take a statement off you and I was like, <laughs> I was like, yes. I was like, Peter, take the dogs into your room. Get the dogs into your room. So he takes the dogs into the room and I'm sitting there going, come in officer, please take a seat. I was like, oh! And I could feel myself smelling because I was like, naughty stuff. Naughty. And he was sitting there and I was, I was looking up and down. I was, I was telling my whole story, but I was looking like that. And he could see me doing it, but I thought, you're in my house. I can do what I like. <laughs> I was, see, and that, that made me, I was having me spring my step, like Mrs. Doubtwater in the pickle. I had to spring my step all day after that. And then, see, when I was in the hospital and the police came in, because the police are always at our hospitals because there's always riots happening and stuff. And uh, as soon as the, the police officers come in, Amanda turns around to me before I say anything, go behave, Mum. Before I open my mouth, she says, behave. I don't know why. The, the, I don't know why she would say that. <laughs> <sighs> Oh, a Hershey, I've had a Hershey bar over in the USA. Why not, Em? Um, do you know what? I say that to myself all the time. Why not? I'm not here to impress anybody. I'm just myself. It's take it or leave it. <laughs> Most people leave it, but we'll just pretend I've got, I've got lots of admirers all admiring. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm, see, as soon as you start a, a ASMR channel, I don't know where it is. People, people, can they start? Can I request a video? And I'm like, mm, depends. I know now to ask. It depends on what it is. <laughs> Ooh, see cookies and cream. Oh my goodness, I like milk chocolate. Um, and I like white chocolate. I'm not too too keen on the dark chocolate. Although I do like it with mint, 
We've got chocolates here called After Eights. So I don't know if you've got them. And it's, see, at Christmas, in everybody's house, in the whole of the UK, right, you've got to have After Eights. And they're squares. And they're thin, 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 dark chocolate with mint in the middle, right? And the best way to eat them is you get your coffee or your hot chocolate, get one and wiggle it in, and then take it like that. And it's just, mm, you've, it's a must for everybody's Christmas. Everybody's got to have a box after eight in their house at Christmas time, including mine. And Peter doesn't eat it. He doesn't eat dairy. So it's all me. <laughs> and I look at the chocolates and think it'd be a waste if nobody ate them, you know. So I've got to do it. Oh, matchmakers, I love the mint and the orange match matchmakers. Oh, coffee crisps is your favourite chocolate bar open minded. Yes, dark chocolate's meant to be good for you. But I, I you know, I, I eat all the bad stuff. See if a dietitian come in, my whole fridge, well, apart from my lettuce and my, my salad stuff, everything else would be tossed out. Get that out. <laughs> Yes, it's Scottish shortbreads. That's for New Year. Everybody's house in Scotland. We have our after eights. And Walls Vionetta ice cream. Walls Vionetta ice cream is, is a must. Right, that and after eights for Christmas. And then everybody's house at New Year. We've got to have shortbread. And then we have like cherry cake. Which I don't even know the name. I can't even remember the name. It's like a ch cherry cake. It's quite a heavy cake though. Um, and this other cake, oh, Madeira, Madeira cake. You've got to have that. And, of course, you've got to have lots of flavourings. <laughs> That's the main thing. It's the main. But it's not going to be the same this year because people used to just, well, go around their, their houses and Happy New Year and First Foot. But nobody's going to be able to do that this year. Not that I've got MD that's going to be traipsing in the house anyway, but I'll probably spend New Year with yous. That's what I'll do. I'll spend Christmas, well, I'll come on in Christmas and say Merry Christmas to you all. And then a new year, I'll come on and talk to you for a brand, a better year here. A better year. <laughs> that's what, listen, that's all we can do at this point is, is do this and, and try and cross our toes and, and our legs and all that and just and just hope that next year's going to be the, a really good year. That's all we need to do. Oh yeah, matchmakers are a pound, but oh, they're wonderful. And they're good to swirl and dip. Oh, uh, Neural, I hope I'm saying your name right. Yes, an iron brew, you need your iron brew. <laughs> um, look, I'm getting a, I'm getting a double, uh, listen, I'm embracing it though. I'm embracing it. They can say what they want on YouTube about me. They'd not have to live with me. <laughs> I, I, I'm happy. That's the main thing. I'm happy. <laughs> Leave me alone. Let me eat my cookies. Let me eat my boxes of chocolates. My flavouring. I don't think I'm going to have a New Year's resolution. Because I don't know what kind of year it's going to be. <laughs> I don't know what. I went to, oh, I had my, did I tell you, so I had my jacuzzi today. The jacuzzi was working, so that was lovely. And I had a nice jacuzzi. Um, I'm the same, and me and you are the same with carbs. It's carbs that is my, my weakness. My carbs, you know, my bread. I've got a beautiful crusty loaf in there just now. Oh, it's, it's gorgeous. And I've got some nice cold meat. I've got salami which is lovely and I've got smoked cheese see the crusty bread with the salami on it and then the smoked cheese and then soup <laughs> then I'm talking about food again I'm going to have you all starving this seems to be a theme <laughs> this seems to be we'll just talk about food but at Christmas and New Year you've got to eat good food That's what it's, it's all about that kind of stuff but Christmas Day, I'll cry. I'll cry on Christmas Day. I always do. 
Yes, smoked cheese is good. I would, Sky, I will not have that cheese in my house, that flavouring cheese. That's not cheese. I like good cheese. I like Danish blue. I like brie. I like, um, you know, mature, like myself, cheese. Do you know what I, I hated? I always hated see the string cheese that the kids used to eat. I'd be like, that's rubber. Oh, yeah, Pip. <laughs> yeah, I just, I, I cry. I'm a cry on Christmas. Not so much New Year. New Year, I'm like, it's, it's just New Year. Do you know what's going to happen, though? They're going to be out with the bloody fireworks again. I'm sick of the fireworks. Sick of it. Poor little pop, it look, she even knows her, her ears perked up there like that while I was talking about the things. Letting them off during the day, but it could a fire up during the day. Um, it's just because we've got big hearts, I think. See, see, the bigger your heart is, I think, the more you cry. And I, cr I cry quite a bit, so I do, I cry. Um, things make me cry. Adverts make me cry. Um, th comments that people leave me make me cry. <laughs> yeah, I know open-minded. Look, my poor baby there. There she is. Look. Shame. And my son actually, he's got a little table in his room and what he was doing was he was putting a cover over the table so it was she could go in there and feel a wee bit safer. As to people that that have never had an animal that's like this, don't don't know what it's like for poor wee animals. But I think about all the wildlife. What about the foxes and things like that? They must be the same. They must be terrible when the, all the fireworks are going off. I wish it was just once a year, right? And at New Year, the people always like to let them off at midnight. Um, but that's it. Like for that's enough. That's enough. Yes, go for girls. As soon as somebody cries, I'm I'm crying with them. I'm crying with them. Yes, Pip, that's what makes me cry. It's just that I've got, I look about and I've got all the family here and we've had a good dinner and you know we're we're having a laugh and and stuff like that and it's just that the moment gets to me <laughs> and it's not a sad cry. It's a happy cry, a thankful cry, um, for everything that I've got. I'm I'm so thankful for for my life and, and my kids and my dogs and the, all of yous. I'm thankful for all of that and um, it gets me. <laughs> it's, it's, it's easy, well, the flavouring's going, that's it. You know how I, I'm I'm the one that's out in a pub saying to complete strangers, I'll absolutely love you, like that. That's me. I'm that one. <laughs> you get some that are like the the angry people when they're drunk. I'm, I'm a, I'm a uh, love I was going to say lover, but that sounds wrong. I love everybody is a better way to say it. I'm not a lover. <laughs> that would be completely different. That would be a completely different story. <laughs> see, we have Brussels sprouts. I don't know if you all have Brussels sprouts. In the UK, we like our turkey and all the trimmings, like pigs and blankets and all that. And you've got to have your Brussels sprouts. And we all fart, but at least it's we all fart the same fart. So all our farts smell the same. <laughs> so the house, the house is just an aroma, aroma of farts, leftover turkey. The dogs, you've seen the dogs dinner, they're getting a three bird roast that's made for dogs. Yeah, see, New Year's not that big a deal for me. Um, I just hope it's a better year. But some of the programmes that's on TV are quite funny. I quite like that about New Year. Um, but it doesn't. I'm not. Really, it's just like another day. See, the first of January. It's just like another day, to me. Chokes the. 
I can't pronounce that, Sky. I'm sorry. I mean, that would have been great if I could pronounce that. <laughs> I can't. I can't, but it sounds it sounds very beautiful, whatever you've wrote. Oh, so that's what it'll be. It'll be Brussels sprouts. <laughs> yeah. See, I know that Edinburgh, Edinburgh's always got a big do. There's always a big do up in Edinburgh, um, at Edinburgh Castle. And they bring out the big cannon. I think it's called Moan. It's not Mystic Moan. It's something. <laughs> I don't even know. The, cannons, the cannon's got a name anyway. Right? And they, they bring the big cannon out. And then somebody watches the clock and then at midnight they light the can the cannon and it sets off an explosion. And then it's a mad street party down below. But they won't be able to do the mad street party, so that's cancelled. The lights at George's Square that I love, the Christmas lights in the centre of the Glasgow, cancelled. That's cancelled as well. So all we've got is the TV and each other. <laughs> that's all we've got this year. Right? But we'll we'll make the most of it. I mean, if I have a lot of love, I might sing a song to you. It won't be good. <laughs> and, I, and I won't get copyrighted because it'll sound nothing like the real thing, like Mariah Carey or something. Ooh, Em, that sounds nice. I've never tried Brussels like that. My Brussels sprouts have always got lashings of gravy. Yes, open-minded. Every day is a new day. That's, that's the way I look at it. Always wake up and hope that today's going to be a good day. Even if I've had a bad day the day before, right? See if I've had a, a terrible day the day before. I wake up the next day and I think to myself, I like to say my prayer in the morning. And then I, I say, um, right, today's going to be a good day. And then I'm set. That's me set for the day. Oh, um. Um, you've got all us this year as well, so, and it's, this is, I mean, everybody says they're chatting, the people in the chat are the best in the world, but yous are the best in the world, because there's never any tension in this chat, we can all talk about what we want and share the love, and yous can, if yous have got channels or anything, yous can put that in, I, I don't care, um, and it's always a, a nice feeling when you come into this chat, not like some other chats that you go in and, by God, you're stressed out. You watch a chat and you're stressed. I've got to go and tidy up. <laughs> I watch some chats and I'm like, my God, I'm going to need to do something in the house. And anyway, that arbor needs broke down. So see if anything happens. I'm taking the hammer out to it. I might take these with me and we can, we can, I wouldn't be able to. I'm saying that there's no way I'd be able to swing a hammer with, with the scars I've got. I wouldn't be able to do it. Thank you, Gopher Girl. Like, is it cause the best chat because yous are in it. Yous are all in it. And, um, yous, and I'm not just saying these are amazing people. I talk, I talk about yous all the time. I swear to God I talk about yous all the time. I mean, I'm, see, when I'm talking to my mum, I'll say, oh, I was talking to my friends and we were talking about this and we were talking about that and stuff. <laughs> I name drop yous like I did with the ambulance guys, remember? Remember, I was trying to pretend of some kind of big deal. So embarrassed. So embarrassed. <laughs> I hope I never see the ambulance people again. And I'm, I'm saying, have you got a pen there? Have you got a pen? Write this down. Scottish ASMR Blueberry. Right, have you wrote it down yet? <laughs> of course, that was that was a morphine. That was morphine talking. It's not good with me. <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't. I'm not good with it. I turn into so. I turn into something else, completely different. And and the, see, all my family, all my family can spot it right away. <laughs> there was one time they gave me it. I had no idea. It was. I took a terrible asthma attack. I couldn't breathe. And I was in the hospital, and they must have gave me it to calm me down or something, right? But as soon as my family came in, I was talking about people and saying, see her over there, and pointing straight at the woman. And and talking trash, talking trash I was. And it was Mike's husband, he went, what have they gave you? I says, they've gave me oxygen, what do you mean, what have they gave me? They've gave me nothing. <laughs> and they were, they were going, they were going... No, they've gave you something, Linda. But, but they, I'm telling you, they've gave me nothing. See her over there; she's a cow. I was that's what I was saying that. 
And and could stop stop saying that, Mum. What, what are you doing? <laughs> Oh no, no. This is this was the morphine injections that I got. Um, I don't, I don't have morphine. I could see if I, if I, I, I just take paracetamol. But see if I, if I really wanted, I could probably go and get morphine patches, um, because of the the pain and the the leg and the back and all the rest of it. But I, I need, mean, I like to keep my my wits about me. I like to know what's going on. Um, I like to drive my car. I like to do all of that kind of stuff. So. Um, I couldn't, uh, paracetamol it is, and that doesn't take the pain away, so I just, I just soldier on as <laughs> I say uh, God knows, um, God knows what I'd be like if I'd flavouring and the morphine, my god, that I don't I dread to think <laughs> I dread to think what I'd be like it'd be, it'd be messy it'd be messy <laughs> uh, Yes, um, see, as I said, it's just like paracetamol. I'll take. Um, I could, if I if I wanted to, I could go and get a lot of heavy painkillers. But I I like to be aware and and alert and stuff like that. And when I'm on the morphine and stuff, I'm not. I'm sleeping, and I I like to drive my car. And you can't drive your car when you're under the influence of anything like that. So. So only only take that when I'm in an ambulance. See when I'm <laughs> they take me away in an ambulance, then I say like that give me, give me it now, and then they give me it, and I'll see it's still not worked. So they give me another one, then I go, that's better. <laughs> that's me. That's me straight to the hospital like that, on a flying carpet, <laughs> a flying carpet with blue lights going. That's that's kind of stuff. Thank you, Miss Aqua. Oh, don't you still have me crying? You still have me crying. No crying today. We're not doing crying today. We're doing, we're doing laughter. That's what we're doing. I'm going to go and watch cops. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. I'm going because it's put me in the mood now. It's put me in the mood. Even see as soon as I even hear that song, bad boys, bad boys. I'm like, here we go. And they're always rolling about the ground, aren't they? The people. And I'm like, oh. I, I don't know. I've, I don't know who I've turned into. <laughs> well, thank you, Pip. Thank you very much. I'm glad that I'm, I'm here anyway, and I'll be here even on Christmas Day. I'm going to be here to say hello to you because I can't not. I can't usually let my family as well, so I couldn't have a Christmas without coming on and saying Merry Christmas to you all. I think Mrs. Doubtwaters doesn't need the butcher so much anymore. She's got her pickle. <laughs> She's got her pickle. Uh, thank you, sweet open-minded. Thank you, golfer girl. You would all be fine without me. You would all soldier on. But you don't need to worry because I'm not going anywhere. I'm staying right here. Do you know, I'm like Donald Trump. Nobody's moving me for this bungalow. <laughs> Right, that's what start calling me Donald, right? I'm going to be Donald Trump. Nobody's getting me out of this bungalow, right? <laughs> we we'll have to drag people, drag her out, get her out. I'd be grabbing everything I could. No, I don't think she needs a butcher as much. Oh, Mrs. Doubtwater. She's definitely the wee spring nurse step. That pickle, though. That pickle. <laughs> I showed my mum it. I said, what do you think of this, mum? And showed her. And she was going, oh, my, like that. And I was going, oh, no. It's not mine. It's Mrs. Doubtwater's. And my mum talks about her and goes, I wonder what Mrs. Doubtwater's doing. And I'm like, mum... <laughs> She says, but you're not her. I says, I know. As soon as I put the wig on, that's it. She's, she's here. <laughs> I know, the, the poor pickle. The poor, I feel sorry for the pickle. I've never felt sorry for a pickle as much as Mrs. Doubtwater's pickle. That's, that's, that's a brave pickle going in there. <laughs> Isn't it? 
Uh, I've got ideas for the pickle for upcoming videos, so you'll probably see the pickle again. The pickle will be back. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, I think she wants a bit extra, extra pickle with extra meat, please. Butcher. <laughs> Where's the beef? I can't remember that. I don't know if we think that was in um, the UK. Pat, I hate it. See if you one sneaks out, right? And the older you get, the more farts you just bend down, bud, and it comes out, and you go, oh my God, there's no holding it. It just, I don't know what happens to your bottom, but there's no holding it when you get to a certain age. You just, it just surprises you. It surprises you. So a few times that's happened in a supermarket and it's not been, it's been a smelly one, right? And you're like, oh, I'm, I'm glad, I'm glad there's nobody about. And then you'll see somebody walking up and you're going, no, oh, please don't walk up here. Please don't walk up here. And they walk up beside you and you know, they know you've just farted and you've, you've got to walk away and just leave it. <laughs> I hate that. Because my face goes red. I, t I, I take what we call in Glasgow a beamer. My face goes red and it's called a beamer here. I take a big, big beamer and I've got to walk away like that. <laughs> or uh, somebody else, somebody else was here and and then I came and it's not, it's not, that's not my, my fart. <laughs> yeah, the sky, the, 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 listen, see the older you get, they just sneak out, so they do. So, like, you bend down to tie your shoes, and it goes, wait, like that, and you go, oh, God, I never, never knew that was there. It just comes out. You didn't even know you needed one. It just comes out. That's what happens. You've got all that to look forward to. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm going to go and watch Cops now. I hope you all have a lovely day, and I'll be back again tomorrow to see you all. Oh, good morning, D. D, D. I'm just, um getting ready to go poor sky <laughs> poor sky I know. so thank you all everyone for coming in and spending time with me today as i said i'll be back again tomorrow it'll be friday and i hope we've all got the friday feeling we'll all have the friday feeling tomorrow right and um thank you i love spending time with you and having a laugh i'm going to give you all a big kiss now bye everyone <laughs>